How many of you have ever heard the cute phrase, feedback is the breakfast of champions? And yet as a sales leader, when you've given well-intended feedback, you often recognize very quickly that your salesperson doesn't like breakfast, doesn't like to eat breakfast. Now, what makes feedback so hard? Well, often, you know, sales managers avoid feedback because they dread the pushback, the excuses. Salespeople don't like hearing the feedback because they take it personally. They almost take feedback as rejection rather than well-intended correction. So two tips to create a feedback sales culture, one that continues to grow and improve. Number one, Refine your hiring process. Make sure when you're hiring your new candidate, interviewing that new candidate, that you vet the candidate for their experiences on receiving feedback. Now, listen intently to the verbal and nonverbal cues as they give you answers, because you want to be looking for, well, was this candidate resentful of the feedback? or rejoiceful that somebody cared enough to give them well-intended feedback. Tip number two, I'm going to encourage you strongly to change up and enhance your onboarding program. You know, a lot of times when we're onboarding new salespeople, we'll cover product knowledge, technology tools, sales methodology. But what we miss is covering the process for feedback. It's critically important to remind your new hire that at this company, we believe in the philosophy. When you care, we share. And we'll be sharing a lot good and bad. Now, you can even walk them through the process, especially if it's going to be a difficult uh, coaching conversation, feedback conversation. For example, it doesn't have to be a secret. Let your salesperson know that your eye is going to number one. Let them know, is this a good time? Ask for permission. Is this a good time or should we schedule it later? Number two, you're also going to let your new hire know that you're going to be very specific about the behavior change that you want. You're you're not gonna do things like, well, I just want you to have a better attitude. I'm actually gonna bring you examples of where I'm seeing a not so great attitude. The third thing you're gonna share is that with your new candidate, your new hire, that I'm actually gonna bring examples of how this, let's take a, a bad attitude, is affecting other people on the team and the company. But at that point, also let your new hire know this. But you know what? I'm going to stop and I am going to ask you for your perspective to make sure I'm not making assumptions. And finally, together, we're going to agree on the next steps, action items and milestones. So let your new hires know how you give feedback, why you give feedback and when you're going to give it. Feedback, it is the breakfast of champions. I suggest you start serving more of it up.